Brian, I know you weighed in on it yesterday. Ali, you've not had a chance yet. If you were an Arsenal fan, just imagine mm. that uh, now, and you had to... They don't ga- like me very much, ga- by the way. Gauge your reaction <laughs> along a continuum with ecstatic at one end and very underwhelmed at the other. Where, where would your reaction be right now? Somewhere in the middle. And, and I think that's why Unai Emery is. He's not the blockbuster name, sort of culture-changing name that, say, a Diego Simeone would have been. Mm. But he's also not the young... Uh, we're looking into the future and, and we're trying to um, manage a situation and this transition. And, and as we look into the future, then we think of Patrick Vieira, we think of Mikel Arteta. He's not that guy either. And so somewhere in between is Unai Emery, and it really is what Arsenal has become as a team. They're sort of in between. Mm. They're, not here, they're neither here nor there. They're not competing for the titles that he's speaking about. Mm. He, he, they're not going to win the Premier League next year. Their goal may just be getting to the top four, if, if that. Mm. And I think when you look at Arsenal and then look at the other teams, Manchester City is not coming back to the crowd. Mm. Manchester United is going to improve. Liverpool has, over, over, has passed them on. Spurs have gone by them as well. Chelsea is going to make changes. They're in a transition as well. So where does Arsenal fit in when, when we consider big teams in the Premier League? Unai Emery is going to come in into a situation which, oh, by the way, Regardless of who it was, whether it was Simeone, Arteta, or Unai Emery, the players in that locker room. Yeah. That's the biggest challenge because you got to win with those guys and you got to change the mindset of players that have become uh, very used to not achieving the things that they're supposed to be achieving mm. and, and have, have been underwhelming in terms of their performance. How do you change that? That's the biggest uh, challenge for him or for, for whoever was in that locker room. Brian, as to the sort of coach that Unai Emery is, it's always instructive to listen to comments from former players, isn't it? Joaquin, who played with him uh, in a great Valencia team that also included David Vieira in his pomp, but saying Emery put on so many videos I ran out of popcorn. He's obsessed with football. It's practically an illness. He's one of the best managers I've had. I worked with him for three years. I couldn't handle a fourth. Emery was there four years. He... Did really well at Sevilla, too. Uh, what, what sort of manager are they getting, do you think? Well, they're getting a meticulous manager. Yeah. They're getting somebody that, that looks at the opponent and then tries to make sure that, that his team is set up to not only defend that opponent, but eventually beat that opponent. And what you're getting with him is, which is different from when he was at Sevilla or when he was at Valencia, he, there's going to be a situation where the regime changed not only in the coach, who has basically, from what, what everything has been coming out, quashed a lot of the, the, the transfer buys, I think you're going to now get a chance to see the, the stabilization, but also the building upon uh, the players that they need in, in mm. positions. They need a defensive center midfielder. Uh, Shaka, I don't think, is uh, someone that, and I said it yesterday's show, that is enough of a disruptor. Sure, he fouls a lot, but it's yeah. because he gets out of position. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to see who they purchase. And by the way, I called him manager. He's... He's clearly not manager. He's been named head coach. And there is a difference. That doesn't happen in England very often, does it? In England, it's always manager. Well, I I, I would say, and people get really excited about, okay, this manager or head coach or whatever the name may be, it gets appointed and then say, well, look what he did at Valencia and Sevilla. Well, here's my question. Is Arsenal looking to become the Valencia and Sevilla of the Premier League? Because I'll tell you what that means. Third and fourth. Place. That means yes. That <laughs> means the guys that are struggling to make it into Champions League but have no chance of winning. Mm. So if that's okay, then then so be it. And that's the standard that you set for yourself. Then so be it. If Europa League now all of a sudden has become in, truly important for you, mm. then okay. And then have a go at it. Don't, don't don't come and tell me, hey, well he's won titles with Sevilla in Europa League. Okay, that's good for Sevilla. But is that the standard? Because if that's it, then okay. We move on and we don't, we don't continue to have conversation about Arsenal as a top-tier team in, in the Premier League. Mm. They're just a guy, guys that are going to add flavor to the, to, the, to the competition and that's about it. He did win a league title. Finally, he had to move to France to yeah. do it, of course. He, he, won, he won Liga just this past season with PSG. That was his first domestic title. The Europa League titles, Ali, referencing three in a row with Sevilla and lots of uh, French Cup success as well.